today's pie, I'm taking my inspiration from Spain with a spicy chicken and chorizo pie. So let me run through the ingredients first of all. I have a spicy chorizo, Romano pepper, breast of chicken, carrot, onion and celery, garlic, tomato puree, smoked paprika, bay leaf, seasoning, tio pepe, Worcester sauce, chicken stock, chopped tomatoes, chickpeas and curly kale. And we're going to be making this pie in phyllo. Okay, I'm going to begin by putting a couple of uh, tablespoonfuls of olive oil into this casserole pot. Uh, and when it's hot, I'm going to add the chorizo. Quickly followed by the Romano pepper. What I want to do now is cook it gently for a couple of minutes so that the oil from the chorizo is released. And then when that happens, after a couple of minutes, I'm going to remove it. Okay, see how the chorizo has gone slightly crispy around the edges and the oil has been released. So I'm going to take it out of the pan now and put it into this container here. Next is to add a touch more olive oil, just to make sure the chicken's brown nicely. Um, take the chicken, season it with some black pepper, coarse black pepper and salt, and then drop it into the pan, turning the heat up. I'm just cooking half the chicken at a time because I want it to cover nicely. If I put it all in there, it won't happen. See how the chicken's picked up a nice bit of colour now from the chorizo. Just remove the first batch of chicken, so in goes the second. So now that the chicken and the chorizo and the pepper are cooked, it's all out of the pan. I put it to one side, I'm going to leave it there while I make the sauce. Into the same pan goes the onion, celery and carrot. I've got 150 grams of onion, 100 grams of celery and 100 grams of carrot. So that's going to go in there. Just to sweat nice and gently. And now I'm going to add the garlic. I've got three cloves of garlic here. If you say you don't want me, might as well After a couple of minutes, uh, the onion is beginning to soften. So I'm going to add two tablespoonfuls of tomato puree. And two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Very gentle heat. Just mix the paprika and the tomato around so I don't want it to catch because it is quite dry so you need to move it around. Now one of the favourite parts of any of my recipes is a little bit of liquor that's going to go into this uh, mix. Uh, wouldn't be the same without it. This time we've got fino sherry which is absolutely gorgeous in this dish. So I'm going to put about 100 mils in here. Sherry has reduced now, it's almost disappeared actually, it burns off the alcohol. So now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients, which uh, I'll begin with uh, putting in the chopped tomato. About a half a litre of chicken stock, three bay leaves, and around 400 grams of chickpeas. And then, and then finally, life wouldn't be the same without it, a couple of slugs of Worcester sauce. There we go. I'm now going to turn the heat up to bring the sauce to the boil. Now turn it down to a simmer to develop the sauce, the flavour, etc. Thicken it slightly. When you cook chicken or whatever you, you're cooking in oil or butter or fat, you are going to get oil on the surface of the sauce. Nothing to get excited about. You can take it off quite easily as you're going along. I'm simmering the sauce for about 10 to 12 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the carrots are soft. So now the sauce is ready, I can put the uh, chicken, chorizo and red pepper back into it. Because the chicken was only coloured at the beginning, it's not quite cooked enough, so we're going to give it another 10 minutes. Final piece of the jigsaw, um, and I'm not sure if it's a Spanish or not, but I'm going to add to this a little bit of crispy curry cake. The rich iron flavour of the kale and the sweetness you get from cooking it a little bit really does add something to this dish. Got to be very careful with phyllo because it dries out very quickly, which is why I've got clingfilm on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush three sheets with melted butter. Mm -hmm. 
and then fold them into this little tin. Okay. Now, what we do is we butter the next sheet, which will in turn oil the one below it. And I'm going to do it so that basically the points are almost star-shaped. Finally, the third sheet goes on top, like so. Press it in gently. Don't forget, you always need to make sure that the mix is chilled before you start assembling your pie. Touch more melted butter on these outer edges, here. Now I'm going to fold the edges in, and I want it to look nice and rustic. Once it's folded, I'm just going to brush the top once again with a little bit of melted butter before placing it into the oven. And now the pie is ready for the oven. So now you can see the pie's got a nice golden colour. It's been in the oven for about 20 minutes at 160 degrees C. So, here I have my spicy chicken and chorizo pie. Uh, I'm serving it here with a little bit of green leaf and some tzatziki, but it would go equally well with hummus. Um, have a go at making it home, and I hope you really enjoy it. Today.